Hi everyone, this is John Girardi with Right to Life of Central California, bringing you another in our daily series of videos that we're doing for 40 Days for Life. 40 Days for Life is the international campaign of prayer and presence outside abortion clinics throughout the country and throughout the world. If you want to learn more, get in touch with us at 229-2229 or go to rtlcc.org. Uh, today we want to talk about some of the issues that are at the other end of the human life spectrum. We at Right to Life of Central California obviously concern ourselves a lot with abortion. But I also want to talk for the next couple of days as we go through the pro-life issues of the day in, these, in this daily series, talking about assisted suicide. Uh, assisted suicide is legal in the state of California. It was legalized in 2015 and is an enormous threat to human life. At the core, so let's get our terms right, euthanasia is the active killing of a patient by a doctor, usually the injection of some deadly poison or something by the doctor. Assisted suicide is different, though related. Uh, assisted suicide is basically where a doctor prescribes the patient, him or herself, with deadly medication, and the patient, him or herself, ingests it. In California, the legal physician-assisted suicide process is as follows. Someone who receives a six-month terminal diagnosis and then gets a sign-off from two different doctors that he or she is mentally competent to make the decision can receive a prescription for deadly life-ending medication, a bottle of pills that that person can take or not take at their choosing and at the time of their choosing. Now, we think this is wrong for a number of reasons. There are all kinds of lack of safeguards for the physician-assisted suicide process. There are opportunities for fraud within the system of maybe an interested uh, grandchild or child who's trying to get inheritance and giving grandma the pills when she doesn't necessarily want to. But at its core, the problem with physician-assisted suicide is that it basically breaks our societal norm, as abortion does, that the role of government, the role of our laws that we pass through our governments, is to protect every single person from acts of private violence. If I were to come up to any of you and to just punch you in the face, what is there to stop me? Well, a whole suite of laws exists to stop me, whether it's you knowing that you can engage in self-defense and I might get punched back or your friends knowing that they can stop me, an unjust aggressor, and they could tackle me to the ground. Cop, if a cop's standing nearby, he can tackle me down. And if I connect, before I connect, I know a whole bunch of consequences are gonna come to me. If I connect, I could be charged with battery. I could be arrested, and go to jail. I can also be civilly sued, and I could have to pay punitive damages. I could have to pay for your medical bills. Our laws and our government basically exist, if for no other purpose, the one thing everyone agrees on is that our government exists to protect individuals from acts of private violence. Me going off on my own initiative and whacking you. Our laws also, though, function to protect us from ourselves. If I were to come on this YouTube video and make a serious threat genuinely to harm myself, Someone watching it would be authorized, you know, to call the authorities and say, hey, I think this John Girardi guy wants to hurt himself. We should get the authorities involved. If I were, you know, standing at the top of the tallest building in Fresno threatening to jump off, a cop could do whatever he needed to do to get me to stop. He could grab me and body slam me to, you know, to the roof of the building, to, to the ground, uh, not rather than have me jump all the way to the ground. You know, he has to he has an obligation to do what he has to do to make sure I don't kill myself. Because the value of human life, the importance of human life, is not something that I can decide whether or not it exists. It's not a principle of total autonomy. We human beings are social creatures. We are connected to one another in all kinds of different ways. I may be an independent adult, but I am radically dependent on all kinds of people. Farmers, truckers, growers, the people who designed this room to make sure it doesn't fall on me. And Lots and lots of other people are dependent on me. To, for any one member of human society simply to cast him or herself out harms all of the fabric of society. And the value of every human life is something so important, so sacred, that we have to, as a society, protect people even from acts of suicide, to respond to people who are suffering, not with an act of killing, not facilitating their suicide, but with love, with compassion, with medical care, with pain management treatment. That is the response that a just and healthy society presents to those who are suffering, not assisted suicide. 
We'll talk about more issues relating to assisted suicide in the upcoming series of episodes. But until then, this is John Girardi for Right to Life of Central California.